Hey guys, Dave Hathaway, Hathaway Property Management. Excited, it's the last day over at East Eager. They've done the final clean. We've already had final pictures done. And excited to reveal the numbers for you so you can see how much you make when you are investing in rental properties in Baltimore. So I'll have the Psy, the magic editor in the background, put up the our projected and what we are actually getting. And I'll just go over the numbers real quick so you understand what they are. But our projected one was a 93, uh, purchase, 93,000 purchase price, a 30K renovation, renting the property at 1675 per month. And our cash flow came out to, so each month after expenses, our cash flow came out to 1096 42. That's without a loan. If we had a loan in place, a 30 year fixed at a 6.79% interest rate, which is, I had to just estimate it because you don't lock in for a DSCR loan, whole nother topic. But with a 6.79% interest rate at a 30 year fixed, our cash flow was 492.83. And that was projected, what we were projected. And then on the bottom of the analyzer chart, you can see what our return is. And our return without a loan was 10.44%. And with a loan, it was 18.73%. So you can see with a loan, you actually get a better return, return on investment. Also know guys, this doesn't adjust for tax appreciation or other tax benefits. So your actual ROI is higher, but this is just a pure cash on cash. If you're not considering taxes, which you should be with rental properties, because that's one of the benefits. So that was our projected, our actual. So the only thing that changed with our actual was our renovation. It was 37,000 and that was after checking QuickBooks and I had to do a little bit extra. Uh, so I hope you guys appreciate that. That's really accurate. And our rental amount is, we think we're gonna get a voucher holder for 1750, not 1675. So the rent amount went up, but the renovations also went up. So without a loan, if we just paid for the property in cash, we would be getting 1,157.92 back. And that return on investment was 10.43%. So very similar to the projected number. And then if we do put a loan, which we are putting a loan, at a six point, the same one, 6.79% interest rate, 30 year fixed DSCR loan, with a loan, our cash flow is 519.98. And in the chart, in, in our analyzer, we account for 10% vacancy. That means that it's gonna be unoccupied for 10%. So sometimes you have a real long-term tenant, your ROI goes up. If you have a turnover every single year, your ROI is gonna go down. The other thing, what was the other thing? The other thing that we account for is 8% for property management. We do it all in house. So we actually, our ROI goes up because we don't pay for property management, exterior property management. So that's what the ROI is. So we did pretty good. This is by no means, and I'll do a quick walkthrough right after. This is by no means a home run. 10% cash on cash, 18% with the loan. No means a home run, but also no means a terrible deal. This is a I'd probably say a double, also have equity in the property. So you have equity that if you wanna sell the property, if you need the money, but if not, hey, great. Make your $520 a month, every month for as, as long as you hold on to the property. And so you're making that 18% and even higher because you have all the tax benefits. So you're gonna be getting taxed at the lowest rate of capital gains. So that's, that's the big reveal, guys, that is, that is the sexiness about rental properties. That's why we like cash flowing rental properties. We'll just do a final walkthrough. You can see what it looks like after they did the final clean. The bathrooms look way better. The floors look way better. Just stuff looks nice and sparkly clean. There's the kitchen. Nothing really changed in the kitchen. And, but there, those are the big numbers. So, I mean, if you guys have any questions, definitely comment on the YouTube video. I'll try to answer any questions that you guys have. If you guys enjoy that, we'll be doing it on the next property as well. Really trying to give you guys value so you can, if you're looking to invest in, in rental properties, then 
you, you have a kind of a guide or a framework. So, but other than that, I mean, that is investing in rental properties 101 from start to finish. You got to see the whole renovation. So I hope you enjoyed the whole renovation. Hope you enjoyed all the sticking points, big sticking points with the punch out list and just getting everything to the finish line. And the other thing is we also, after I think two showings in three days, we did receive a voucher holder. So this is gonna be a section eight property for us. We haven't received the inspection, which happens within seven to 10 days in Baltimore, but I think we'll be, I think we'll be at 750, uh, 1750, because they give us, after they do their inspection, they give you a rental offer based upon comps, but comps are pretty good over here. So there it is. Hope you guys enjoy that. See you guys, we'll see you guys on the next one. And it does help if you guys like and subscribe the video, that does a huge benefit for us. It gets that value out to people that are actually wanting to get involved in rental properties. It helps the YouTube algorithm, so thanks for watching the whole series. Hopefully it helped. Ask all the questions you want. I'll try to get as, uh, back to you guys as quick as possible. So, and you guys can, if you guys want our free analyzer, just send, send us over an email. I'll put the email in the description and uh, we'll send you over a free analyzer. I'm pretty proud of it. It took a while to develop that, so it's been super helpful and it, it helps you guys analyze deals way quicker using that than doing the napkin method all the time. So, see you guys.